Today, Sylvie and I are in the lovely village of Aldbury, which is situated right on the far western edge of Hertfordshire, close to the borders with Buckinghamshire and Bedfordshire. The village is a magnet for walkers who, who use the village as a base to go on various walks all around this part of the county and up into the Ashridge Forest or the Chiltern Hills. It's also commonly used as a filming location. The village has got two pubs, the Greyhound and the Valiant Trooper. And when Sylvie and I did a walk from here back in January, we stopped at the Valiant Trooper on our return for a drink. And we were delighted to find that the Aldbury Morris dancing team were here doing a performance. <laughs> Well, that was the perfect end to a good day's walking. Today though, Sylvie and I are here to do another walk. This time we're starting in Albury and we're walking about three miles to the well-known landmark of Ivinghoe Beacon. We're setting off from Stocks Road, which gets its name from the stocks on the village green.
As we reach the outskirts of the village, we pass the gates of a large Georgian mansion. This is Stock's house, and in recent years was the home of a man named Victor Lowndes, who headed up the European arm of Hugh Hefner's Playboy Empire. The house was also used as a school for bunny girls, and many wild and exotic parties were reputed to have been held here, and I certainly bet they were. Well, we walk about a mile and a half along Stocks Road before we turn off and take the footpath over to Ivinghoe Beacon.
Ivinghoe Beacon sits about 233 metres above sea level and is a very popular tourist attraction, giving incredible views over the counties of Buckinghamshire and Bedfordshire. But it's also a popular filming location and it has been used in four of the Harry Potter films as well as the Star Wars movie The Rise of Skywalker, to name just a few. It's also a popular site for radio controlled aircraft enthusiasts who take advantage of the updrafts coming up the side of the hill. Well, after an hour of sightseeing on Ivinghoe Beacon, Sylvie and I start heading back down the hill and back to Aldbury. This time when we got back to the village, we stopped at the Greyhound pub for a drink.
Well, after our refreshing drink, Sylvie and I decide to head home. And on the way, we stop by at the Pitstone Windmill, which we can see in the fields below Ivinghoe Beacon. It's been a pleasant walk today. It's lasted about four hours and covered roughly six miles. <laughs>